Hi, and welcome to Straight Cam Video. In this video, we're going to learn at how to write differential rates equation. Before we're going to look at how to write the equation, it's better for us to look at what is mean by reaction rate. Reaction rate is defined as the change in concentration of a reactant or a product with time. Therefore, the units for reaction rates is molar per second. Remember, reaction rate is defined as the change in concentration of a reactant or a product with time. Mathematically, it can be represented as follow. Imagine we have a reactant over here. I'm just going to represent that as R and a product. I'm going to represent that as P. Therefore, the reaction rates can be written as reaction rates equals to the negative concentration of the reactants, the change of concentration of the reactants over the change of time. The reason why we have negative sign over here, because we do know that reactant will be decreasing in concentration. And to complete that, you're going to have this to be written next to the negative D concentration reactants over DT. So it's going to be equals to plus D concentration of P, which is the product over DT. So this is how you're going to write or represent the reaction rates mathematically. So let's have a look at one example right here. We have an equation, as you can see in front of you on your screen. And the question wants you to write the differential rates equation for the reactions that we are given right here. So first of all, you need to look at um, which are the reactants and products. And I think that one is the easiest bit. So I'm going to highlight the reactants in yellow and the products in red. Okay, so you do remember, okay, you need to remember that when you want to write the reaction rates, reactants will have a negative sign and product will have the positive sign. Okay, so how do we write the reaction rate for this? So first you're going to write um, rates. Okay, that is very important. Equals to so you have negative change in the concentration of I minus over change of time equals to negative. Okay, we have negative over here because OCl minus is also one of the reactants. The change in the concentration of OCl minus over dt, the change of time. And when you go over to the other side, now we are dealing with the products, which are going to be increasing in concentration. For that one, you're going to write equals to, remember, the plus sign, the change in concentration of Cl minus over dt. And the other one will be plus sign because O minus, OI minus is also one of the products. The change of con concentration of OI minus over DT. Okay, so when you look at the sign over here, it's very important for you to remember to write the sign because the sign over here will tell you whether it is going to be the reactants or whether it is going to be the products. Okay, now let's have a look at another example. Right here, the question wants you to write the differential rate equation for the given reaction right there. First, you need to write the word rates equals to, okay? Before we're going to do that, I'm going to highlight the reactants in yellow. 
and the products in red. So remember, for the reactants, you can have negative sign in front. And this time, since you have, since you have three moles of oxygen gas, it's going to be um, the reactants. So you're going to have one over three. Okay. The change in concentration of the oxygen over dt. And moving over to the other side, you have the O3 gas as the product. So equals to plus sign because this is your product. So that one would be one over two. The reason why you have one over two right there because the O3 gas is in two mole for this balance equation. So you're going to write D concentration O3 over DC. So that is how you're going to write the differential rates equation for this reaction.